What's up everybody, it's Audrey and welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about what it's like being a Dutch Bros employee. Um, I have been getting a few questions um, every now and then within the past like week or two regarding my job um, due to a lot of new Dutch Bros opening up um, where I am from. So some people have asked me what it's like working there and do I recommend it um, and different questions. I also asked you guys on Instagram if you guys had any specific questions that you wanted me to answer and I got a few of those so I'll be answering them today. So let's get started and into the video. So uh, first I'm going to be talking about my hiring process. I applied for Dutch Bros in May of 2020. Um, I applied right after school ended. I was looking to get just like a little summer job um, because I was under the impression that we were going to go back to school in August. So I was going to be home for the next three months. Um, so I just thought, okay, let me just get like a summer job, make some money and um, just go back to San Jose. Turns out, you know, school never really went back and we were online. So that happened. Um, like I said, I applied in May, I would say it was like mid to late May. I didn't get a call back until about a month later. So this is now mid to late June. So I got a call back, we scheduled an interview. They asked me a few questions on the phone, nothing too in depth. Um, we scheduled an interview for the next week. I had my interview then. Um, and from there, I was asked a few more questions and then was told to take a menu quiz, the next interview. So this is now another week later, so this is now into July. And after I took my menu quiz, um, I passed it, got 100%, and was moved on to another interview. This is like mid to late July, and basically in that interview they kind of just talk to you about like the hours that you want to work, and um, what stand you prefer, and kind of just everything in between. So. After that, we scheduled my orientation where it's just like a paperwork day. You kind of just fill out a whole bunch of paperwork, sign a whole bunch of legal documents and NDA, stuff like that. And um, this was now the third week of July. And so the, hir the hiring process is a long time. If you're looking to just have like a quick little job for a few months, I wouldn't recommend it. I obviously didn't know this, but luckily I was a... I, stayed home and um, did online school so I was just here um, so I didn't really have to you know just quit at the very last second or like quit as soon as I started. After my orientation I had a week of training with um, a trainer and two other um, trainees. Um, we trained at a stand. We would usually train at headquarters but Headquarters was closed due to the pandemic and everything, so um, we train at a stand. When you're training, they give you like a really big packet, um, basically talks about the recipes, how to like make the drinks. Um, this isn't like the secret menu or anything, this is just how to make the drinks, you know, how many scoops go in a lemonade, how many scoops go in a rebel, in an iced coffee, and a hot coffee, stuff like that. So um, it's a whole week and um, you kind of just go over it and the last day you take a test off of everything that you learned and you have to pass with I believe it's like an 80% or higher or something like that. Um, so yeah. And then after that I was given my home stand which um, is where I work now. And um, you train with your own trainer for anywhere from um, Two to three weeks I believe. I know it's like 10 shifts but it kind of just depends on like how many days you're scheduled. You train with the assistant manager for one day and then you train with the manager for another day and then you get cleared. Um, so overall the whole entire process takes about anywhere from like two to three months to really get hired. So it is a long process um, and it does take a lot of memorizing and knowing a lot of things and just on your own tests. 
so um, and a lot of studying too if you really want to be like a good barista so the way that Dutch Bros works is that when you apply you are applying for a part-time position this is um, anywhere from I believe five to right under seven hours I believe a day so that is your part-time position we are paid minimum wage and um, with tips as well so tips is like a little added bonus and um, yeah um, you do sign up to be a barista so you are making coffee drinks you are making the um, the lemonades, the rebels, the, the teas, everything, as well as being on window and being a runner that takes orders in the drive-thru. So you do, and also just like regular like cleaning stuff, sweeping, mopping, cleaning in general, that type of stuff, that's what you're signing up for. Um, to be given a full-time position, you do have to be there for about a year to two years. Um, depending on your knowledge and stuff, and you get moved up to um, being a shift lead and goes up and up and up. My experience though has been really good overall. I've been there since August, so almost six months. It's been really, really good. Um, I've made a lot of friends there. Um, I love my coworkers. Everyone's great. Um, everyone was super, super welcoming, super helpful. Um, it does take a good amount of time to like really get used to it, get get used to the stand, get used to your coworkers, and just in general, just learning the recipes, learning the secret menu stuff, the flavors, and everything that there is. Everything comes with practice and time. So um, I know I struggled for at least two to three months after being hired and being cleared after training. Um, but that kind of just like depends on you and like what how much you how much effort you want to put into it um there is a lot of stuff to remember there was a lot a lot a lot of stuff to remember um you have to know how to make every drink so a question that i got is well, what is the hardest part um i kind of just went over it it's just uh <laughs> memorizing everything it does take time and it does take practice um so I mean, it is a thing where you learn something new every day that you're there, whether that be like when you're making drinks or when you're, you know, cleaning the stand up or you are outside running and you don't know how to put something in. And there's just so many things that go into um, the entire job itself that it's actually like kind of crazy um, how much you learn. So um, I would just say memorizing the secret menu in general like how to make the drinks and how to make how they differentiate and knowing when to um, do something specific for one drink and to not do it for another drink well what are the hours like so unless you request a certain time period to work everyone doesn't really have a schedule there um, you could be working you know a night shift um, one day and then you know, go work the noon shift the next day and then go work the morning shift the next day. Um, or even like a grave or something like that. You can be, you know, a full week on the noon shift and then have like the night shift for two nights and then have the morning shift for another two days and stuff. So nobody really has a schedule there unless you um, absolutely need to have one or you can't make it a certain day or whatever. So yeah, that's kind of like how the hours are like. Um, but like I said, anywhere from like five and a half to right under seven hours is you're starting out um, part-time position. Usually on average, our um, hours are, you know, six hours of work um, per shift. So yeah. Why do you guys always look like you guys want to jump out of the window? So this answer is probably going to be an answer that you don't want to hear. Um, just because it's so like simple and it's just... I don't know, it's weird. The reason why we look like we want to like jump in your car and have a good time with you is because we play music and when we play music, um, the speaker is right here and the window is right here. So it's really hard to hear a customer talk 
Especially now with COVID when you can't even see people with their masks on, so you can't even like make out what they're saying with their lips. Um, but we honestly just can't hear you. Um, <laughs> and we genuinely do want to have a conversation with you. So um, that's kind of why we look like we want to hop out the window um, is because the music is really loud in there and um, we want to hear you. So <laughs> that's the reason as to why. Another question I got is, are the people there really nice or is it fake? I would say for the most part, people there are really nice. Um, I don't want to say it's fake because it's not. I feel like when you go to work, you have to really realize, hey, like I'm at work and we're honestly just have, we're honestly just trying to have like a good time there, um, trying to make, you know, the time go by fast and um, kind of just get everything done that needs to be done. Um, but obviously there are days where like, you know, we're super stressed or, you know, we have a lot of stuff going on and stuff like that. But we do try to make the best out of it um, and always give our best every day and honestly just like keep everything going smooth and everything. So I wouldn't say that people are fake there. I believe that it's like genuine, like people are really nice there um, because, you know, we do want to be nice to our customers. We want to like um, engage with them and build connections with them. Um, so yeah. What's my favorite part of the job? I would say the, my favorite part of the job is interacting with the customers and um, getting to know them on a personal level um, in a way where they're not just a customer that comes by every day or every morning. They're people that like we see their car pulling up, we know the exact order they're gonna get and you know we're ready for them and just be like hey like how are you today how are you doing like you off to work cool like just having like a genuine conversation with them and i feel like building those connections really really helps um dutch bros and it really helps the customer in general you know just letting them know that like oh like we want to give you your coffee but we also like care about you know what you have going on and you know just making your day a little bit better because i feel like everybody needs some type of positivity in their life um whether that be like just going on a trip to go get like a coffee or anything so yeah that's my favorite part of the job is just like making people happy um and just giving that extra positivity that someone may need um on a consistent basis i've gotten some people who ask me about like hey i want to apply um and stuff like that so I do want to make this clear is that you do have to be 18 and you also do have to be graduated from high school to work at Dutch Bros at least um, in California that I know of I know in other states um, they have different rules so yeah um, we're not super strict when it comes to like um, dress code or like you know what you can and can't have on you when you're working um, but ultimately just like being appropriate, wearing like some Dutch attire and like not really having your phone on you ever. So yeah, that's kind of like the rules um, that come with the job. So yeah. Is the straw theory real? So apparently there is a theory that uh, states that depending on what color straw a Dutch Bros employee gives you is supposed to mean something um, in general, but I'm here to tell you that that is completely false. Um, I honestly just reach for a straw and just give it to them, you know, like sometimes people will ask, oh, can I have a pink straw and I'll give it to them, you know, I don't really care. Um, I like the pink straw too, shoot, but, um, apparently like there was this theory where like, oh, like if a Dutch Bros employee gives you a pink straw, they think that you're cute or you're nice. If they give you like a yellow straw or a green straw, they didn't like you, um, they give you a blue straw, like this means something, but like, we don't really care, like, I'll just give you a straw, like, I just want to know if you need one or not, like, it's not that deep. So no, the straw theory isn't real. Is it worth the pay? I would say that once you get it all mastered and kind of, like, under your belt, I would say it is. Um, I do think that after tips and, um, our hourly pay, um, I do think it's worth it. Um... 
there are days where we have really really good tip days and there are days where we have average and not so good tip days but um I mean I think that the tips really really help us in general so that's why I think that it is worth the pay um so yeah and then the last um two questions are kind of like oh like what's my favorite drink what's my favorite like rebel what do I recommend um so stuff like that so I have a few favorite rebels um it depends on how I'm feeling but I will either get a classic electric berry rebel um I will get a Trixie Rebel or I will get an Aqua Berry Rebel. Um, an Electra Berry is going to have blue raisin lime to it, a, a Trixie is going to have orange, almond, and pomegranate in it. It tastes like a pixie stick, so don't judge. Um, and then a Aqua Berry Rebel is going to have blue raz, watermelon, strawberry, and kiwi in it. So really, really good. Um, I prefer all my Rebels to be extra thick, but, um, that's just me, so, yeah. Um, and I get them all blended. I don't really like iced Rebels, I'd rather just have, like, the Rebel can, um, itself, so, yeah, but that's just me. So, and then my favorite coffee, I would say my favorite coffee is a iced tuxedo white coffee mocha. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and that's because I don't really like the taste of regular coffee, so I'll get white coffee where white coffee doesn't really taste like coffee at all. It just has like the, the same, it just has the extra caffeine, um, more than regular coffee, so, um, that's that. Um, and then I'd usually probably get it with soft top. I also do love, 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 love our chocolate milk with some soft top. 10 out of 10 if you just want to, you know, like, have a little drink um it's really really good um i would also recommend a blue raz watermelon lemonade really really good i love that one if i'm ever gonna get a lemonade it's gonna be a blue raz watermelon lemonade um let me see i also love our hot cocoa it's unbeatable unmatchable like 10 out of 10 like best hot cocoa hands down um so yeah, other than that, I don't really like like coffee like that. So um, yeah, I don't know. I'll get a kicker every now and then, an ice kicker. Um, I'm not a fan of hot coffee. The only like hot drink I like is like hot cocoa, and that's it. Um, so yeah. So the last question is, would I recommend this job? I would recommend it if you are looking for a mid to long term job. Um, I think it's really good. I think the environment's really nice. Um, and I think it's a good, you know, job for somebody who, um, somebody who's starting out, somebody who just, you know, like wants to make money on the side, somebody like a student who's working and going to school at the same time. Um, I would recommend it. Um, so yeah, and also if you're just like really, really like a fan of Dutch Bros, I guess, like if you just like know what's in like any secret menu drink then like um you know that that part would be really easy for you um if you're able to memorize a lot of stuff and like get it under your belt really quick i would also recommend it to you so yeah hopefully this helped a little bit if you are interested in applying to dutch bros or if you kind of just wanted to know a little bit more about my experience and my take on things um Hopefully this helped you and was able and hopefully this was able to like guide you in a better direction. So yes. Um that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye.